just a little background story. Uh, years before I even picked up the brush, I was attending an art fair. And I found this booth that had a beautiful landscape of a mountain scene in it. And I went over to the artist. I said, now where was this painted? And he looked at it and he said, I saw it in some magazine. Uh, I don't really know. And at that point, the painting died to me. And I said, now if I ever do this, I'm going to make sure it has all the information in it. Um, and so one of the greatest aspects to my marketing, which was never intentional, it's just something that evolved and happened, was that on the back of each of my paintings is a story. Because when I'm out painting, things happen. I want to make sure that story stays with the painting. Uh, in many cases, the, the story will create more of an acquisition than the painting itself does. Um, as an example, this is what the back of one of my paintings looks like. Uh, it's got my chicken scratch, it's got who I was painting with, it's got the date, it's got the time, it's got the weather conditions. Uh, down here is my guarantee that it was done completely outdoors. Uh, over here is my legible as well as illegible signature. And up here is the full story and people refer to this as the birth certificate of the painting. Um, it will always be with this painting. So 20 years, 40 years, 100 years from now, a traveling antique show, if anybody asks, where was this done? All the information is right there. But it also encourages, and this is something that I also talk about to people who have acquired a piece, is that my story is done. It's yours now to continue. When you get home, get an envelope, get a piece of paper, write how you acquired the piece. And then when it gets passed down to the next generation, they do the same thing. This is the front of the painting. And so it continues the life and the story of the piece.